Another tough game for the Millers today as Rotherham take on Norwich City. Before getting to any further detail, I do think we have to talk about the two transfers the Millers have made since the last video. One of them being a club record signing, being the first million pound player for the Millers, Sam Nombe from Exeter. Matt Taylor did work with him during his time at Exeter. And in the dying moments of transfer deadline day yesterday, we did sign left back from Aston Villa, Seb Revan. Unfortunately, only Sam Nombe can start today against the Norwich City side who started the championship season strong with three wins and one draw. Rotherham is still looking to get off the mark after a 2-1 loss against Leicester last week. A Casey McAteer brace cancelled out a Fred on your dinner equaliser at the start of the second half. Can the Millers get the first win of the season or are they going to have to wait till after the international break? Let's get down to New York. <laughs> Andre Green, Angus Gunn, great starting position to sweep up. You know, we look at today's fixture, it's another free hit, just like Leicester. We're not expected to win at all, we're playing against a quality side, some quality players. For example, Jonathan Rowe is one of the top scorers in the Championship at the minute. He's on fire. Great move for Norwich. They build play up now as they approach our box. It's cut back to Gabriel Zara, who's about six to eight yards out, but can only sky his attempt over. I was about to say Norwich have just been keeping the ball. We're doing well to hold them. We've not really had any chances. Green plays round with it on the edge of the box, feeds it into the box. On your dinner from a tight angle, gets a brilliant strike away to win a corner. Into the top corner, one nil up in 20 minutes. Come on! Yes, Victor! We nearly threw it away like we did against Sunderland, straight from kickoff. Norwich are on the edge of our box, and Victor has done well. Let's keep it one nil. Trying to play good football. The ball's into the box, onto the head of Hugel against his former club, and he puts it into the bottom left corner. 2 0. And that number. Oh, when the Reds go marching. When the Reds go marching. Come on. Stop for a second there. The ball's played over to Stacey, he crosses it in. And for a minute, I thought Rathbone handballed it in the box. Luckily, referee did not see anything. Rest gonna get all sorts of abuse. Three minutes at a time. That must have been at least four or five. And we're back underway.
This second half is going to be a crucial half. Even though a 2 0 lead looks comfortable, it's really not, especially with the quality Norwich have got. And it's shown there. Rose played the ball across and it's tapped home. My dad has the golden chance there. We're on the counter attack, Hugo plays it through to Bramall in the box. In my opinion, he has to go hard and low, but he goes back post, lobbed over to Green, who can't get his head to head it towards goal. <laughs> That is so selfish from Hugo. He's got to play Rathbone early. He's going to be clean through. He's given Norwich defenders time to keep up with him, and that's what they've done. Just reflecting, that's two counter attacks we've had, and two counter attacks we could score from and see the game out, really. At 4 1, you don't expect Norwich to come back. I'm now ever long as I did on. I can't watch this for any longer. That's seven minutes at a time. 